Lingayan, officially the municipality of Lingayan, Pangasinan, Bailey na Lingayan, Ilocano, Ilit Lingayan, Tagalog, Bayan ng Lingayan, is a first-class municipality in the province of Pangasinan, Philippines. According to the 2015 census, it has a population of 103,278 people, it is the capital municipality and the seat of government of the province of Pangasinan. Lingayan was a strategic point during World War II. It is also the birthplace of former President Fidel V. Ramos. History the Augustinian missionaries and the Spanish conquistadores drew a plan of Lingayan in 1614 and Lingayan was founded. The founders named the town Lingayan at the suggestion of natives themselves, due to a certain corpulent tamarind tree growing on the present town plaza at that time. The tree was exceptionally big, tall, and spreading, that the surrounding trees were just drafts in comparison. Passersby developed the habit of looking back and back again at this corpulent tree until it would vanish from their rear view. When they arrived home and were asked what way they took in returning they would simply say, through Lingayan. The word, Lingayan, was from the Pangasinan language word, Lingon, meaning, to look back. Since then up to the present time the town bears its name as Lingayan. Lingayan became the capital of Pangasinan when the province became an encomienda. During World War II, Lingayan was where the Allied armies landed during the invasion of Lingayan Gulf. Its long beach served as runway for several attack planes. Geography It is located along the Lingayan Gulf, the Agno River and the Limahong Channel. It has a land area of 62.76 square kilometers consisting of 32 barangays and also has seven sitios. Its terrain is flat, suitable for farms and fisheries. Lingayan weather is cool from December to February, warm from March to April, and the wet season is between May and October. Barangays Lingayan is politically subdivided into 32 barangays. Demographics Climate Socio-cultural development Lingayan Poblacion has two portions, architecturally and culturally different from each other, Spanish and American because of the large influence of both two major colonizers. The older portion influenced by Spanish is located in the southern part. The infrastructure that the Spanish planned was all town buildings face each other around a town plaza. The buildings include the Three Kings Parish Church and the Municipal Hall. The American one built near the Lingayan Gulf consists of many provincial government buildings including the provincial capital and Urduja House, all located in the capital grounds. Economy Agriculture, livestock and fishing are the major industries of the town. Major crops include rice, corn, tomato, mango, watermelon, and vegetables. Livestock rising are predominant in the southern barangays where vast, long stretch of pasture lands can be found. The major fishing ground is the Lingayan Gulf within the municipal territorial waters of 15-15 km from the shoreline classified as the municipal fishing ground. Fisheries can be found in every barangay. Other major industries include making of world-class baguong, also known as manabok, referring to its place of origin, barangay manabok, and bokeo, sweetened coconut, vinegar, furnitures, crafts made of bamboo and shingles made of nipa. Agriculture The town has a land area of 3,180 hectares or 47.5% of the total land area of the municipality used for agriculture by a land survey conducted by municipal planning team. Rice, being the major crop produced, have 1,500 hectares, 22.42% of the total land area of the municipality. 
Corn come next with 341.50 hectares, 5.11%, with peanut comes third with 136.6 hectares, 2.04%, while the rest of about 253.225 hectares or 3.78% is planted to different crops such as mango, camote, eggplant, and other crops. Livestock Information gathered from the Office of the Municipal Agricultural Officer, shows that in year 2000 there were 5,282 head of swine, 2,762 head of cattle, 756 head of carabao, 1,520 head of sheep and goat combined, 44,000 head of poultry, commercial broilers, and 43,875 heads of poultry, native chickens. Fishery there are two types of fishery operation in the town depending on the type of water which supplies the fishery, brackish water and freshwater. Brackish fisheries have a bigger land area than freshwater with a land area of 1,419.18 hectares. These fisheries can be found in 28 barangays with BAAY being the largest with 157 hectares. Freshwater fisheries have a land area of about 38.82 hectares and are located in 10 barangays. Namolan have the largest with 7.80 hectares. Education Elementary schools Lingayan is divided in three school districts, I-2 and 3. Private schools Harvent School Jesus Good Shepherd Development Center St. Columban College Carblix Academy Happy Times Christian School J. N. Montessori High School Grace Baptist Learning Center St. Columban's Institute High Schools Estanza NHS Pangasinan NHS Pangasinan School of Arts and Trades LASIF NHS Integrated Schools Damalandan is Malawa is Higher Education the municipality is home to three colleges and one university with two campuses. Pangasinan State University, Lingayan Campus and Open University Systems Pangasinan Memorial College The Adelphi College Street Columbans College Transportation Several bus companies like Victory Liner and Dagupan Bus Co. have routes going to Lingayan from Manila, Baguio City, and Dagupan City every day. The town has a small airport, Lingayan Airport, where light planes can land and served as a community airport in Lingayan and surrounding areas. Tourism The municipality have many beautiful attractions, Lingayan Beach, the provincial capital, Urduha House, the World War II memorabilia ground site, Sisson Auditorium, the Narciso Ramos Sports Complex and Civic Center and the Limahong Channel. It also has two wonderful parks, the Town Park and the Capitol Grounds. The town celebrates its town fiesta in honor of the Three Kings every first Friday, Saturday and Sunday of January, also celebrates Baguong Festival to promote the main product of the town, happens a week after the town fiesta celebration, and joins to celebrate Pisti Diet, Beach Festival, which is being celebrated in the entire province of Pangasinan. Heritage structures Heritage structures abound in the city of Lingayan. Of note are the municipality's provincial capital, Urduja House, Colegio del Santísimo Rosario Ruins, and the two gaveldone structures inside Pangasinan National High School. Pangasinan Provincial Capital Building is a neoclassical building designed by Ralph Harrington Doan. It was damaged during World War II and was reconstructed in 1946 with assistance from the U.S. government under the Philippine Rehabilitation Act. With the completion of its repair and rehabilitation in 2008, the building earned the title, Best Provincial Capital in the Philippines. Urduja House, also called the Princess Urduja Palace, is named after the legendary warrior Princess Urduja. 
It currently serves as the governor's official residence and guest house. Colegio del Santísimo Rosario Ruins was constructed in 1890 as an exclusive school for girls run by the Dominican sisters. Its lumber, windows, tin roofs, and beams were used to build another school in San Manuel Town, leaving the structure in ruins. At present, it is within the compound of a private property. Pangasinan National High School, erstwhile known as Pangasinan Academic High School, was the first public secondary school in Pangasinan. In 1946, the North and South Gabaldon buildings were constructed within the school campus. And now it is considered as the mother school in entire Pangasinan. Thousands of students are enrolled in this school. And due to the K-12 program it also offer courses for senior high school students. As of now the school is constructing several buildings for the senior high school. Malang building is named after a Pangasinense hero named Andres Malang who led the revolt against the Spaniards from 1660 to 1661. Construction of the building started in 1956 and completed in 1958. It got a major renovation in 2008, the same year the Pangasinan Provincial Capital Building had undergone a facelift. Polaris Building, formerly known as Kalantia Building, was named after Datu Kalantia, said to have composed the first legal code of the Philippines, the Code of Kalantia. The code was said to be fraudulent and Kalantia was not a Pangasinense but an Aklanon, according to some historical accounts. The building was renamed Polaris, in honor of the heroic acts of Pantaleon Perez, also known as Polaris, in leading the Pangasinense rebels from 1762 to 1764 against the Spaniards. Sisson Auditorium was built in neoclassical style, and was constructed in 1927. It was initially known as the Gran Provincial Auditorium, in the 1930s was the popular venue for Zarzuelas and other cultural performances in pre-war and early post-war period. It was later renamed after former Governor Teofilo Sisson, the first Pangasinense to become Secretary of National Defense. In 2010, it had undergone a major renovation and inaugurated in the same year, April 5. At present, Sisson Auditorium serves as the cultural center of Ilocos region. Images References External links Municipal Profile at the National Competitiveness Council of the Philippines Lingayan at the Pangasinan Government Website Local Governance Performance Management System Philippine Standard Geographic Code Philippine Census Information Pangasinan. Org, Lingayan Family and School Reunion Archives Province of Pangasinan official website